welcome back. Welcome back. I decided to pop on today. I want to do a share and a deck review. So I hope everybody is having a beautiful day. I hope the energies are great after having our full moon in Leo last night, our wolf moon. Um, I know that for me, it was um, pretty restless sleep throughout the night. Um, and I've spoken to quite a few people who experienced that as well. The energies were quite stirred up and powerful. Um, but I hope all of you got your moon water out there and charged your crystals up and all the good stuff there. So now here we are, we're on our way back down to a new moon. And so we will be accommodating new energies for that reason. But I am so excited to share. I got a, a late Christmas present, um, kind of halfway between Christmas and Valentine's Day, I guess, <laughs> present um, from my beautiful, beloved, special sister on here, my soul sister. She goes by YouTube Grandma on YouTube Streets. I know a lot of you guys out there know her. Um, she's amazing. She's one of my biggest supporters, my top customer. Um, so precious and I am very connected to her and I'm going to explain just how much in a little bit okay so she um you know has been dealing with some illnesses and she's been dealing with just a healing she's working on healing some stuff in her body right now so you know things are moving a little slow and I told her to take your time she had a bunch of tests that she had to have done and um, you know, so I said, take your time, you know, it'll get here when it needs to get here. She kept apologizing because the package had not been sent out yet. And I kept saying, don't worry about that. It, it'll get here when it gets here. There's a reason. There's always a reason for everything, right? So every time she would bring it up, I'm so sorry. I can't turn my do not disturb off because when I do, for some reason, it turns off the music that's playing. Oh, by the way. This is a song called Connect with Your Higher Self and Find Inner Peace. It is a copyright free meditation by Jason Stevenson. If you don't know who Jason Stevenson is and you love to meditate and if you like guided meditations, he has a lot of really good guided meditations as well as um, affirmations. He does amazing affirmation videos. So go check out Jason Stevenson. Okay. Uh, anyways. I, I'm sorry about that, so please ignore those uh, notifications. I can't turn those off. But So, back to what I was talking about. So, like I said, there's a reason for everything, and there is absolutely such thing as divine timing. Okay, so, yesterday, it is the, the evening, the day of the full moon in Leo, the wolf moon, and I'm getting things ready and prepared for that, and... Something told me, oh, you forgot to check your mail, which sometimes I do that for days. So I said, okay, well, let's go get the mail. I go out, I get the mail, and there's a package in the mail, and it's from Maribel, the day of the full moon. Okay, so I brought it in, and I opened the package, and I'm going to show you what she gave me inside the the package from Maribel was m several things. She spoils me so much, but they are so meaningful to me. Okay, so the first thing I opened was this beautiful lavender and diamond gold necklace. It's a butterfly. Butterflies, I very much resonate with butterflies. Love butterflies. So that was the first thing I opened. Is that not so beautiful? So beautiful. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. It is just gorgeous. This is what the back of it looks like. So absolutely adore this. Love this. Okay, that was the first thing I opened. Beautiful, beautiful. The second thing I opened was in this package inside of there um, attached to that foam was this look at this oh my gosh on this side it's carnelian <laughs> And on 
on this side, it's Super 7. Yes. Oh. <laughs> gosh the energy <laughs> is incredible oh my gosh this is a, a hairpin so or a hair comb is that not gorgeous and it's gold I love the gold okay in a minute I'm gonna tell you where all this stuff came from all right so there's that so that's got carnelian and super seven and I mean first of all let me okay let me finish show, show you one more thing I'm trying to get ahead of myself here okay so the necklace, the hairpin, and then the la the second thing or the third thing I opened was this beautiful fluorite. <laughs> Palm stone that's got the sun and the moon kissing. This is divine masculine and divine feminine together. This is yin and yang. This is balance. This is beautiful and it's a perfect palm stone. Perfect. I love it so much and I was so excited to open up and get this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ah! Okay, and the last thing that was in the package, oh my gosh, she spoiled me so much. She always does. <laughs> was this beautiful carnelian bracelet which I have been wearing since the first thing this morning when I woke up. The energy coming off of this is like, kind of like a triple shot espresso. It's really like type energy, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna read to you. Oh, first of all, I'm gonna tell you where all this stuff came from. Okay, and I'm sure that a lot of you are gonna recognize this name. This came from a place called Sage Goddess. <laughs> She has a giant platform. She's got an Etsy shop. She's got a website. Um, it is sagegoddess.com. And all of this stuff came from Sage Goddess. So she does the coolest cards with her stuff. I put little cards describing the crystal or naming the crystal, the chakra that it works with, and put that inside of all of my pieces of jewelry that I sell. These are what hers look like, okay? I am so gonna steal this idea. <laughs> All right, so the front looks like that. Now the backs of the card have in each corner, um, well, here and here, there's like a beautiful peacock feather, like a silhouette of it. And then on the card, she, she says, okay, for example, this is describing the Super 7, which are these little four ones right here, okay? Super 7, the properties. The Super 7 combines seven minerals, amethyst, um, lipidocrite, lipidocrosite, sorry, lipidocrosite, clear quartz, smoky quartz, go gothite, uh, co coccinite, and ruddle, or hematite. A master healer of the crown chakra. Crown chakra, it's going on my head. Okay, it says it eases stress, reduces inflammation, and heals your body from emotional and physical harm or trauma. Sorry, trauma. For the use, so that's what it tells you about the properties. And then under that is for the use, it says carry with you, place in a medicine bag or a pouch, hold during spiritual work. So that's for the Super 7, okay? So for the Carnelian, it says for properties. It says, Carnelian is a sacral chakra stone that increases energy. There's that buzz I'm feeling. Heightens creativity. I've been working on diamond painting all day long. And supports personal empowerment. The gemstone version of caffeine. It enhances stamina, courage, optimism, and endurance. How amazing is all of that? Oh, I love it. And for use, it says carry with you, place in a medicine bag or pouch, hold during spiritual work. So that's the carnelian. Oh. And Maribel told me that she chose these for me because um, of my MS, to help with healing my MS and get me through the surgeries that I have coming, up and coming. So beautiful. 
Okay, the next thing is the fluorite, and I want to read to you what that says about the fluorite. Okay, oh my gosh. The striations, I'm going to turn it around so you can see the striations in the back. Can you see those? Those are the lines going through. You see those? They look really cool. You can see them kind of going through. See those lines going through? Very cool. Not the ones they've cut into it, but like the natural ones. Those are called striations. All right, so fluorite. It says the properties for fluorite. Fluorite is a soul pathing stone that reveals your soul's purpose and helps you to align with your spiritual gifts and calling. It activates all the chakras. Working with fluorite connects you to your higher truth and helps you manifest your visions. Is that not amazing? <laughs> okay, now, something really divine synchronistic happened with all this. So a few days, a few days. Actually, it would have been the day that Maribel put this in the mail to send it out to me. Ago, I actually went up to a crystal shop that recently opened up. Um, sorry, my incense was tipping over. Recently opened up <clears throat> and um, I've, I have been really keep holding off going and checking it out because we just got through the holidays. I'm trying to save money. And, but for some reason, I felt today's the day. I got to go down there. For some reason, right now today, I got to go down there. There's something down there. I got to go down there. So, and I was getting ready to do a reading. I dropped what I was doing. I went down there. I listen to my intuition now. So I go down there. I come across. Uh, I speak with the guy. I look at all their crystals. They've got two stores. So there's, they're located inside of a giant shopping mall called the South Hill Mall. It's huge. They've got pr probably a uh, hundred stores in there. Um, there's levels. It's a big, big mall. Okay. So lots of foot traffic in this place. So I go in there. I find a directory. I go find the crystal shop. And the, and the crystal shop is called Crystal Cove and Tea. Now, across the aisleway, and of course the aisleways are huge, and they've got like different kiosks, businesses, cell phone companies. They put little stands up in in the key in the in between the aisles. So, I went to the crystal shop first. I went through everything, looked at all the crystals. I had one I was extremely pulled to. Weird thing, this is a crystal. I already have a lot of this. So I don't know why I was pulled to this crystal, but I was, so I bought it. And it was not cheap because the crystals there are super high quality and very expensive. <laughs> but anyway, so I bought the crystal, just took it on faith that, that there was a reason. And as I was getting ready to leave, the guy says, hey, you know, we own the store across the hall too. The store across the, the hall was called Cryptic Cove. So I was like, really? Okay, well, I'll go over there and check it out before I leave. So we, me and my son, we walk over there. And I'm looking through this store and just all kinds of really weird, bizarre, cool stuff, right? We're walking around in there and I start looking at the stuff and I realize that it looks like different, um, it's, it looks like things are in, on consignment there. It looks like people have come in and set up a section here and a different person set up a section here and a different person said, it looks like that, okay? Me being a vendor, I know what that looks like. So it looks like that when we get in there. So I look around at everything and I go up to actually pay for some handmade incense and <clears throat> and I ask the lady, I said, hey, do you guys sell things on consignment here? And she said, yes, we do. We only work with small businesses and individuals with handmade stuff. And I was like, really? <laughs> Immediately I pulled out one of my business cards and I asked if who I talked to if I can if they will take my stuff on consignment so I did get a phone call back that day from the lady um, who is the owner of the store um, of both stores and she did tell me that I can bring my jewelry in there and sell it on consignment um, I also if I, I can bring in uh, my handcrafted stuff so I do like sage bundles I do um, chakra I do um, selenite wands that I wire with the chakra stones um, anyways there's quite a few things handmade that I do I do a chakra balancing kit that comes with several different pieces um, and so these I'm trying to figure out what all I'm gonna take up there and have in the store but, but here's the cool thing for the amount that the consignment fee costs 
is actually less than what it costs me to pay for shipping when I ship my stuff out. So it's actually going to save me money. All I have to do is just maintain an area in there. And I was set to have another meeting with her today at 3.30, but she texted me right at 3.30 and said that she had to postpone it for a couple hours. So I decided I'd jump on and do this video while I was waiting. All right. So why am I, how does that draw in or connect with what Maribel got me? Okay. The crystal that I was drawn to that day, the day Maribel sent me a butterfly and fluorite, the expensive crystal that I already have a lot of this mineral, okay, was a fluorite butterfly. <laughs> Is that not beautiful? It's got a little druzy right here, but look at that. That's what I was drawn to buy the first time I ever went to Crystal Cove and on the day that I found out that I was walking right into a beautiful financial opportunity on the full moon. Amazing. Life is amazing. Everything's amazing. I'm just, I'm in awe of the world these days. All the synchronicities happening around me. I, the people in my life right now, I am so deeply connected to. I feel like the universe, God, the angels, my guides, my guardians, my protectors, they have taken all of the individuals out of my life that should not have been there, that were really holding me back spiritually the last couple of years. And right now, I can say that my soul, uh, support system, the people that are present in my life, are all of us so connected to each other. Because get this. On this same day, which this would have been yesterday, on this day, the night of the full moon, okay, full wolf moon, which I had previously sent my friend Natalie, and she's got a channel called Awakened Intuitives Tarot. I had sent her a package because her birthday is on Monday. And um, she, one of the things in the package I sent her was a box that came with 12 bath bombs, one for each zodiac sign so what they were for was for full moon um bathing rituals and there and to me that's very important it's something i've really worked with and used um to help me with healing different things and balancing chakras and stuff but it's it also is like a, a cleansing um for a full moon it's a very cleansing so and, and it helps with a release which is what you need to do in full moon energy and all that so i sent her this for her birthday so every single full moon she can do a bath bomb ceremony and a full full moon ceremony so that's just one of the things i sent her but so she's we her and i are talking back and forth she's gonna i bought the same thing for myself as i bought myself a set of those too so we're talking back and forth we're making plans on what we're gonna do with our full moon and everything and i i which i kind of went my way i had to go get some medical tests done yesterday she went along with her day we came back later on to talk again and i said hey i got a package in the mail from maribel today and i sent her pictures of everything maribel had sent me and she's like oh sage goddess i love sage goddess she said you want to hear something funny i got a package in the mail today it came from my aunt she opens it and it's five products from from sage goddess <laughs> that her aunt sent her i was like what is going on here i am so connected to the people in my life right now in such positive, beautiful, amazing ways. And I'm so grateful. Just, I'm so happy and grateful. I think, um, I have to say, this is the best energetic state I've been in in this lifetime right now. I, I, all I can say is that my life and my energy have been cleaned. Um, I am so happy. I've never been happier. So, Maribel, Thank you so much for these beautiful, beautiful gifts that you sent to me. I love you from the bottom of my heart all the way to my the top of my crown chakra, back and forth, infinity. I'm seeing it. It's going like this, this love. <laughs> all right. Well, I do consider myself a very lucky girl. And I do consider myself incredibly connected to my girls and I love everything she sent me oh one thing I want to show you guys because I think this is worth noting it's pretty amazing inside this is what sage goddesses um how her products come 
So they come inside a little drawstring bag. It's purple with the card. Okay, and then the crystal or whatever it is that's in there. And every bag has a piece of sage in it. Sage Goddess, you're amazing. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful products. If you do ever see this, I am looking at a Herkimer diamond necklace on her site that I really, 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 really want and feel like I need. Um, but I've got to listen to my gut and I've got to give it a little bit of time. And if it's still there when the time is right, maybe, maybe. So, okay, guys, that is all I wanted to show as far as my beautiful, beautiful gifts from Maribel goes. Maribel, thank you so much. I love you, love you, love you. Okay, this video is already 22.55. Okay. Well, you know, I was going to come on and do a video with an unboxing of a deck called the Sacred She Tarot, but I think because my show and tell took me took a long time, I'm going to switch it up. I still have several decks to review from Christmas that I've not yet shown, so I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to show this oracle instead. It's a little less involved and I can get it done in a quicker amount of time, so this video is not way, way, way too long. Okay, so this deck is by Colette Baron reed one of my favorite deck artists, um, and it is called Postcards from Spirit. And this is what the box looks like. Super cute. On the back of the box, it says, imagine traveling to a sacred place where you can receive communication from your loved ones who have passed on, your ancestors, your spirit guides, or even your guardian angels. What if they knew what you need to know about every aspect of your life's journey? Well, you bet they do. You bet they do. Colette Baron reed has created this original and unique oracle card system to open a portal to the other side. Through a compassionate and sometimes playful chorus of voices, you'll feel as if you've re received a postcard from another dimension just for you. A message with practical advice and profound meaning. Ask a question and pull a postcard and spirit will show up with just the right answer. All right. Sides of the box look like that. All right. Ooh, inside the box is a beautiful royal purple. Love that color. Okay, so the box opens with the top just coming off. Purple on the inside, beautiful. Very, uh, very sturdy. J this box is, you could probably step on it and it wouldn't break. That's like made very well. And I think it's because it's two layers. Um, we've got the inside and then, yeah, it's like very, made very, very well. Okay, so then we have what is supposed to be a guidebook, what would normally be a guidebook, is actually not a guidebook, it's a, what would you call this, a brochure or a leaflet? I don't know what you'd call this, but it's this. So, so it, the, this is not a deck that has a description for the cards. Why? Because they're not, they're postcards, they're all postcards. So, the backs of them differ some of them differ somewhat. They all look a little bit different. Some of them look really different. They all have a little, what? so the concept of what this artwork is right here is like the stamping effect. So the words look like they've been stamped on. Some of them are very hard to see. Um, but when you turn the card over, there's a letter for you and these are coming from your spirit guides, your spirit allies, we'll put it that way. So that's what these look like. And this little thing here just gives an explanation about, um, you know, your intentions, when, um, and how to work with the postcards from Spirit. Um, yeah, it just gives you a little bit of direction, tells you about the artist. Um, there is no... Uh, okay, so, the, so there is an artist that worked with her on this the the artwork on the cards and her name is jenna della grotta gallia oh my gosh della grotalgia grotalgia that is a long 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 last name della grotal grotaglia wow okay say that ten times fast <laughs> um also i want to real quickly say some of the other decks by um Colette Baron Reed, 
some of the cards are the Good Tarot. I have that. The Enchanted Map Oracle. I have that. The Wisdom of Avalon Oracle cards. I do not have that one. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. I have that. And Wisdom of the Oracle Divination. Oh, Wisdom of the Oracle, which I do not have that one. So now I've got this one. So I've got all but two. And, and then the books that she have, has written are The Map, Messages from Spirit, Remembering the Future, and Uncharted. So that's Colette Baron reed Very, very well known. And these cards are really cool. So I've already looked through them. Um, I've been picking one, one each morning and reading it. So far they've been pretty dead on resonating for me. So let's pick one real quick and read it, and then that'll be the end of this video. Okay. What do we, the collective, need to hear in this here and now moment? Guides, what did the collective, spirit, spirit, this is coming straight from spirit, spirit, what does, what do we need to know today in this here and now moment? What do we need to know? Okay, I'm just going to cut, cut, Take the top card. All right. It says, oh, on the front of it, it says, oh my goodness. Oh, it says celebrate life. That's the words down here. It is very difficult actually to read them because they're kind of stamped on, so they're not real solid, but it still looks really cool. All right. It says, dear you, uncertainty is the new normal for the whole world. Things are changing at a rapid pace and the old ways we once trusted are no longer reliable. Oh my gosh, that is so true. But leaving the familiar behind can be a good thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone? I agree. When you are pushed to step into the unknown, you are pulled forward into discovering new possibilities that have been hidden in plain sight. Check in with your higher power. Your soul knows better than yourself, your small self. Sorry. Have faith. Sorry. Have faith in the support of a higher power and the infinite potential for your life. Right now, the advice spirit has for you is this. Try something new. Do something different. You won't know how it feels, what it looks like, or what the outcome will be if you do not take that first step into the unknown and experience the unfamiliarity. You'll be so glad you did because the treasure will appear. We're so proud of you for being brave. You are so loved and so supported. Aren't they awesome? Yes, go out there, step out of your comfort zone. Go try something new, guys. Go try a, a food that you've always been curious about but too scared to try. You know, go go for a walk in a busy city. Who knows? There's a million possibilities. Go out there. Step outside of your comfort zone. Learn something new. Discover something new. And so you can experience what the outcome is going to be. Beautiful message from Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit. And thank you for stepping by to watch me unbox another video or another card box. And do my show and tell share with my beautiful gifts from my beloved sister, Maribel. Maribel. Thank you so much, honey. I love you. Thank you guys so much for visiting me and supporting my channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will be back very soon. I'm actually going to come back to do an unboxing on the Sacred She Tarot. A very, very, very different tarot that I have ever seen before. I don't even know if I want to call it tarot, to be honest. But um, if you want to see what that's all about, come back and visit me in my next video. And until then, I wish you the most love, the most light, and the highest vibes. Bye, guys.
love is the highest vibration and the highest state of consciousness in the universe. By tuning in to this vibrational frequency, we are aligning ourselves with its very essence, divine, source, 